used primarily as an attractor pattern, the blob is as effective as it is controversial. When fish seem off the bite, sprinting a blob past their noses often results in an aggressive response. Every stillwater fly fisher should reserve a few parking spots for gaudy attractors such as the blob for just these occasions. Here are the materials you will need to build your own blob inventory. So let's tie the scourge of lakes worldwide, the blob, or in this case the tequila blob. I've got a number 8 standard shanked nymph hook into the vise. You can also use the curved um, scud pupa hook as well. I'm just going to attach some hot orange 80 MFC tying thread. Pull down, snap away the excess. Get that nice thread foundation, gives traction for our materials, helps them hold them in place where we want them to go. We go up back towards the eye and for the um, tail on this you could use marabou but I like to use this is uh, a um, crinkle mirror flash. Taking about 10 fibers of the crinkle mirror flash and I'm just going to lay these over the barrel of the bobbin. You've seen this technique a lot if you've seen some of my other YouTube videos. Hold them in place with my forefinger, grab the ends so they're doubled around the thread now, transfer them up to the thread onto the shank, hold them in place on top and just secure them right down the shank. These are going to form a little tail so we're just going to tie those in place and trim them about half the shank length or so out the bend like this. We got this flashy gaudy tail. Now the tequila series of blobs or boobies is a hot orange or a vibrant yellow uh, butt uh, followed by the fluorescent orange uh, front section or body. So for this we're going to use some of the gel core fritz in both the fluorescent orange and the uh, fluorescent yellow. So to help manage your fritz get it wet. I've dipped this, it's been soaking in a glass of water off camera. And I'm just going to strip away one end to expose the thread core. I'll wrap that in place. Secure that forward just in front of the hook point, just out of harm's way. And now we're just going to wind our fritz around and with each wrap Stroke the fibers back. Really pack this in and make a nice little vibrant yellow butt. I'm just going to come up, zigzag our thread through, a couple of wraps in front, trim away the excess, and again stroke and sweep any fibers that are forward of the tying point as best you can. We've got our little vibrant butt. And then the front section is the fluorescent orange fritz. This is the 15 millimeter gel core. We're going to do the same again. We're going to strip away, using our thumb and forefinger, strip away some of the fibers, secure that exposed thread stem in by the core, right up tight against the yellow fibers, and wind forward. Leave room for a nice vibrant head and now we're just going to again sweep and wrap you can see by having these fibers nice and moist how manageable they are. And it, it looks stiff when it comes out of the material, but you can get an idea how this is going to work in the water. And I'm pulling and sweeping, and I'm pulling very firmly on. Now what I've done is I've got to this point and I've isolated where the tie-off point is. So I want to tie this off in such a way that I don't have lots of fibers sticking out. So I've got my sort of pinch if you will. I'm going to unwrap a little bit 
And if I can, I'm going to try and stroke and scrape using my thumb and forefingers some of the fibers off at that anticipated tie-in point and expose that core. You can sort of see it sitting there. It's exposed, or a lot of it is exposed. Now we're just going to pack this in as dense as we can, sweep those fibers back right up, and there's our exposed core right there. Two wraps over top, one wrap in front, come in, nip away the excess, and now I don't have a lot of fibers that are going to get trapped in. And we're just going to stroke our fibers back out of the way. I've got one of the strip fibers trying to get in the game here. And we're just going to start right at the eye of the hook and continue to build up a nice little additional thread hot spot. This fly, nothing like the like its cousin the booby, nothing looks like this in Mother Nature. So this is a pure attractor fly used to fish generally at pace or in a team of flies to attract fish to more natural flies, more natural insect representations. Doesn't work all the time, but it's certainly a way of snapping fish out of a slumber because they don't always take our flies because of their hungry out of aggression, territoriality, curiosity. But there's the little tequila blob. It's going to dry off and look uh, more like the dry materials. But you get an idea. It turns quite soft and this Fritz is an excellent material. Another variation that has become popular over in UK is to replace the tail with a section of foam, um, you know, round foam and it sticks out about equal to the tail and this is called a fab or fat arsed blob and it's a way that uh, certain fisheries in the UK would ban boobies but uh, they could get the benefit of the buoyancy of a booby by removing the booby eyes from the front and sticking them on the back end or at the arse of the fly and that's your fab or fat ass blob so there you go the blob very controversial fly but at certain times there's no doubting its effectiveness for more information on fly fishing, and still water fly fishing in particular, please visit my website at flycraftangling.com. Here you'll find lots of information, including fly fishing tips, fly patterns, articles, dates on my seminars and schools, along with links to my blog and mine and Brian Chan's online still water fly fishing shop. You can also visit our store directly at stillwaterflyfishingstore.com. Please join the conversation on my Facebook page or follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and please take the time to watch my other tying videos as well.